It's time for the reading nest. Come on. Welcome to the reading nest. Where books inspire you to be your best. Come on and pull up a seat now. We've got adventures to explore. Welcome to The Reading Nest. I'm Patrick and I'm so excited that you joined me today. If you're ready to hear a story, fly with me to The Nest. Welcome to The Nest and I'm so excited that you joined me today because I have a very special surprise for you all. Today here at The Nest, we have our very first guest reader and her name is Miss Stacy, and she's a very special friend of mine. She came here because she wanted to share one of her favorite stories with you all. So let's meet Miss Stacy. Hi friends, my name is Stacy, and I'm friends with Mr. Patrick who runs The Reading Nest. I was so excited when he asked me to read a book for you. You know what I love about reading is that you can travel anywhere with your mind and you can learn about new people, new places, even new animals. And so that's why I wore my overalls today, because we're going to read a book about going to visit a farm. Have you ever visited a farm before? They're so cool. And you get to see all kinds of plants and animals. And sometimes in the springtime, you get to see baby farm animals. So today we're going to read the book baby farm animals, and you're going to learn what all the different baby animals are called. This is a baby sheep. Baby sheep is called a lamb. He likes to run in the grass that grows in the meadow. Baby cats are called kittens. <laughs> kittens love playing in the farm. At night, the farmer gives them cow's milk and they cuddle up together in the big barn. And you know what? I bet they purr together too when they're sleeping. It's very cute. Baby rabbits live in a hutch or they live in the wild, which is a little house for them. She sniffs noses with the kittens and puppies because they're all friends. That's what's great about life on the farm is all the animals can become friends. Baby guinea pigs also have a hutch. Have you ever seen a guinea pig? That rabbit has been up to some mischief, says the brown guinea pig. Uh-oh, Mr. Rabbit's playing games. Baby donkey loves to eat juicy carrots. He's sitting down because he's tired. <laughs> Somebody is trying to make him stand up and follow those carrots tied on the end of the stick. He says, I know that trick. Look how cute this little baby donkey is. Baby ducks are called ducklings. They swim in the pond with their wide webbed feet. Why don't you come for a swim? They ask the little chicks. Baby chickens are called chicks and they cannot swim. The baby chick said, cheep, cheep. Mother says we must look for worms and stay out of the water. Well, that's nice that they listen to their mommy. Baby pigs are called piglets. They love clean straw to sleep on. A piglet digs with its nose, which is called a snout. If you pick him up and chase him, he will squeal for his mother. He'll say, help, help. <laughs> Baby dogs are called puppies. They stay in the stable close to the horses. They growl and bark at strangers, or sometimes they just bark to say hello. 
they pretend that the shoe is a big toy and then they'll growl and bark at that too and play with your shoes. Do you all have a baby puppy at home? Baby goats are called kids, just like you. Just as little boys and girls are called, they try to knock each other down sometimes though. That's not very nice. And their father ends up growing big horns and a beard when he grows up. So the baby goats can turn into big goats with horns. Baby swans are called cygnets. Now they are covered in smoke colored down, which is this really soft feather like material. But soon they will have pure white feathers and long necks. Baby goose are called gosling. She will be a big gray goose one day. See her brother with his head under the water? There he is. <laughs> He's looking for something to eat. Baby horses are called foal. We could walk, she could walk the same day she was born. Wow, humans can't do that. Now after a week, she gallops. When she is two years old, she will be a beautiful horse and she'll be able to carry a rider on her back. Perhaps she will even win a race. Look at this cute little foal. Baby Pony is taking kitten and puppy for a ride. He is a Shetland pony. So he will not grow very much bigger than this. So even when he's an adult, he's a small little pony called a Shetland pony. And then there's a baby cow. <laughs> the baby cow is called a calf. And she says, moo, it's time for lunch. Baby cow is hungry. I hope you enjoyed learning all about the baby animals on the farm. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you, Miss Stacy, for sharing and reading one of your favorite children's stories to us. And I hope you guys learned a lot about the different baby farm animals there are. For our next story, I'm gonna take you on an adventure. But before, I have one question for you. Have you ever wondered if there's life in outer space? Well, our story is just about that. It's called Lights on Wonder Rock, written by David Litchfield. And our character, Heather, is very curious about life in outer space. Let's find out about her adventure. When Heather was a little girl, she snuck away from home and ran into the woods. Soon she arrived at a place called Wonder Rock. Heather sat in the darkness and shone her flashlight up into the sky where the stars sparkled with magic. She was hoping that someone out there would see her light. You see, Heather had read all about outer space and how sometimes aliens came down to Earth and took people away in their spaceships. She wanted more than anything to leave Earth behind and go live among the stars. So she flashed her light off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on, off and all of a sudden, a spaceship arrived. Coming out of the spaceship was a little alien, very friendly. He sat with Heather and she taught him all about the different things on Earth. And he took her inside his spaceship and taught her all about the different things in the spaceship. They even drew pictures together. Heather was having so much fun with her new friend, but then she noticed something on one of the computer screens. It was her family searching for her in the woods. Heather ran from the spaceship shouting, see you soon, to the alien. Her parents were so relieved to see her that they forgot to be angry that she had ran away. They didn't even see the spaceship as it suddenly took off. Time passed as time does 
Heather returned to Wonder Rock again and again. Anytime she felt sad, angry, or alone, she would sit on the rock hoping that her friend would come back. Over the years, Heather tried all kinds of new ways to get the alien's attention. She tried radio waves, electricity signals, lights, sounds, but the spaceship didn't return. When Heather was a grown-up, she went back to Wonder Rock. She needed her alien friend to remind her that magic was real. She sat there all night until the morning sun began to pour through the trees, but the spaceship still didn't appear. Just as she was about to give up, she heard a voice say, Mom? It was her son. He came to see what she was doing and he was very curious about the alien friend. All of a sudden, mom was tired, her son was hungry, and they headed back home. More time passed as time does. Heather went back to Wonder Rock less and less often. But every once in a while, she would sit in that same spot and think about her friend. When Heather was an old lady, she had nearly lost hope, as people do, but she still liked to sit on Wander Rock and shine her flashlight up into the sky. She would turn it off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on, off and... All of a sudden, the spaceship arrived. It was her friend, the alien. He had came back and he showed her a picture of them when she was a little girl. She hopped aboard the spaceship and they took off into outer space. Her dreams had finally come true. But as she saw Earth getting farther and farther away, shimmering blue and green in the darkness, she suddenly realized what she was leaving behind. She told her friend that she had to go back, but the alien didn't understand. Wasn't this what Heather had always wanted? There was only one way Heather could explain. And she drew a picture of her family. My family will be looking for me, she said. The alien understood immediately. The spaceship turned around and went back to wander Heather was so grateful for her friend and for the time they had spent together among the stars. But she realized that the magic and wonder that she had been trying to find had been on Earth all along. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story today. I hope you learned a lot about baby farm animals from our guest reader, Miss Stacy. And next time you go for a walk and you see the stars at night, look up and see if you can find a spaceship. Until next time from the nest. Bye.